The Lord Jesus Christ, you know, is the person that we really want to look, you know, when you wait on Him. He's the person that you really want to see. But of course, I didn't say nga dili ka pwede magplano sa imong kinaboy. I know that we have basic jobs, basic careers, ministry. Okay? We have ministry. We have not ay mga ministry that we have to expand. We pray for multitudes. We pray for transformation. And those are the things. After purifying with the Lord, then you can really visualize. No, you can really visualize what you really want in your life. For example, you want, number one, you really want multitudes. So you imagine, keep imagining multitudes when you wait, wait on God. Imagine how to go to that person today to share the gospel. You know, how, what is the strategy? And the Lord can reveal to you, yung ang problema, yung ang problema, then you can utter. Or you don't know, but you waited on God, pag abot ni mo dito, you know the problem. These people need you, nakinanglan sila ni mo, and that's why you can counsel. Amen. And then, it happens sa ginoon yung multitudes, they will bring great multitudes of souls. Great multitudes of souls using this. And of course, sa imong trabaho. You want to start the business, you want to achieve sa imong mga anak, whatever gusto ni mong mahitabo, you imagine that one. You know, it is not evil. And you realize, when you arrive with that success, the ministry is already blessed by God. You arrive in the success of ministry. You arrive in the wealth and authority that the Lord allows you. You realize it's just all foolishness. Not I say nga dili na di mubaton. The Lord has grace and has a purpose for you. Amen. In all career na imong gusto, in all the earthly wealth na gusto nimo i-accumulate para sa gingharian sa Ginoo, magamit na sa Ginoo. Amen. But still that is really foolishness. And that's what Paul talks about. We will talk about that. Okay, we'll talk about that. But we want to safeguard also the least wealth. The greatest wealth you have is your soul. Second is people. People, ang gihatag sa ginawa ni Buda sa big wealth. Kaya ang kalag, that's why you win people for the kingdom of God, you are very wealthy. Amen. You have friends in heaven. No? Souls. And then you have time. Of course, kung tao ka, unay ka tao, pero may uras. Time is wealth, you know. Yung sila, health is wealth, kung kuno. But it talks about your time, the things that you can do, relationships. Because the least of the wealth, ang sama yung pinakaubos, anak, is money. That is the uh, garbage level of wealth. But the Lord also said, if you cannot be entrusted in little, you cannot be entrusted in greater things. So you have to take care about your Yes, your money, your resources, the possession you have in this planet also has to be taken care of. And this, still the concept is the same. It still talks about the in Malachi. You know, it is still uh, Malachi. Would anyone rob God? Yet you are robbing me. But you say, how have I robbed you? In tithes and offering, and nulis ka sa gino, wak ka pangawat. If you don't give your tithes and offering, you don't, you, wak, you don't steal, no? wak ka nangawat. You rob, tulisan ka kaya ang gino nakakita, nga imong wak ni mo gihatag. You are cursed with a curse. For you robbing me, the entire nation of you, bring the whole tithes into the storehouse, so that there may be food in my house, and put me to the test. Na, test ko ng gino, now, in this, says the Lord of armies. If I do not open for you the windows of heaven and pour out for you a blessing until it overflows, then I will rebuke the devourer for you so that it will not destroy the fruit of your ground, nor will the vine no, in the field prove fruitless to you, says the Lord of armies. All the nations will call you blessed for you will be a delightful land, says the Lord of Armies. Ang gino nag-promise na to. Tithes is a concept of living, ha, pamina, nga naakay naakay respito sa ginaghatag ni mo sa tanan. Nga naman, kung muhatag ka 5%, akabaw ang gino nga, it doesn't matter. If I have 10,000, and I give God uh, 500, kabalo ko, it doesn't affect me. But the time nga muhatag na galing kung 10%, 
it basically affect my financial situation. Sa ito pa natandog na kung sugod. It is not really the 10%. It is the level. And that's why kung makahatag na ka, na na heart sugod. Actually, it's about heart. Na na kay heart. So kung di ka katawag tayo sa ginoo, you don't have a heart. You are careless about those things. Pero kung kaning level, this is the entry level. Kung makahatagal ka, then God knows that there's something you are trustworthy to your finances. This is very basic. No, sa mga Hudiyo, they don't ask question. They just give. When they're taught, sa mga Hudiyo, when they're taught, oh, that's it. There's no such thing as oh, magkwinta-kwinta ka. No, there's no such thing. You just obey. The concept of gitawa o karma, di ba? Walay dato, listen to this, even mga apil kagmason, every organization, every demonic organization ng mga apilan, patagon kag kwarta, patagon kag tambal sa mga poor. The biggest stakeholder in charity in the times of typhoon, diri sa buhol gani, ako na notice, in the Christian world, dili ang mga kristohanon. It is actually the Suchi Foundation, the Buddhist Foundation. That's why ang mga insect, dato kay sila. And that's why we create the Chinese created the care caravan which we are using kay aron mo kompetensya sa Suchi Foundation. That's why you notice sa imong care caravan, ang imong mga sinina, huwag ka tayong t-shirt nga tag 3 mail, oh, tag 3 mail, yata ka tag, tag 11,000, tag 12,000 ng mga gown. Nainayo ba ninyo na kadawa, di ba? Because this has been the concept in the business world. Ah, uh, uh, removing God first in their perspective, that the universe, you will be trusted money with the universe or karma if you are, you, you can invest in charity. And that's why he will mention this. God is a businessman. He give you 100%. More than that. That's the money and your energy. You can pay that one. So he give you wealth. The money. You don't have the mind, the creativity to produce greater than that. Kana arang kusug na ani mo mo na. Now, ang iyang plano ana, aron in these last days, to fast track, to speed up his ministry, his imagination, his purpose, his kingdom come. Gusto niya ng gamiton. Kung dili ka magpagamit, ana, di siya makinigusyo ni mo. Of course, God is kind to the needy, not just to the, he, no, of course, the, the biggest uh, goal of God is to rescue a lot of soul in these last days. But God also gives us concept. You take care of the widows, the orphans, the people that who are needy. Even if wa kay mimbruhan na simbahan, basta kay mo take care kag mga pobre, manghinatagun ka, kalang mga tao nga dili makabalos nimo, di ka not return to you. If you really give to these people, naturally, God will still bless you because He loves the poor. Are you there? If you don't give, you know that the Chinese give 10% to 20%. Yes. The business world, they have a rotary. They have a developed it's a demonic one. Rotary, nga magbalik-balik ra, ilan na pong investment. They have foundation that they give to the poor. That's why the Lord Himself, even, o ka nang matawa na di na mga Kristuhanon, they still use the concept arunod ato. Now, the Israelites, they can invent things the best invention to nang isgutan about last week, the technology of the world. That's why people hate him so much right now. Because whatever power you have, whatever wealth you have, you know the Israelite has the upper hand. Kabalo ka nga sila yung pinakakuan. Ang technique nila, aron bright sila, dili, unsan na diha. Ang ilang technique is just giving time. Let's watch this one. The rabbi ko no, mangayo nila, pilay ilang, ihatag. Actually, this is called about the offering, or actually tithes. For the year. This happens for the Jew before the Rosh Hashanah, which is the Feast of Trumpet. Before sila mag-Feast of Trumpet, mukumit na sila daan sa ilang itites anang tuiga. Mag- maglista na sila daan. Dili sila mo yung mo tides. Kung naa sila income, dili. Kaning mga hudiyo, mo na ako ato nang hisgutan ka because we gonna do Feast of Trumpet. Before sa Feast of Trumpet, nakakumit na na sila pilay ilang ihatag anang tuiga. I will give the complication, uh, the calculations later. For, from the Jews. No, I don't know anymore. Yun sa nila. By the end of the year, I fulfilled the pledge. So, ingon na ni. 
ni offer siya sa kung ni tight siya eh, ang, ang mga rabay mo add to day dito sa mga balay sa mga opisina mangulikta tatwa kay dire man na to ibutang you know? pero ang mga rabay sa ila mo add to sila opisina gipa offering siya and then he give his tights the next year pagbalik sa rabay pupuri na wa na na pupuri na siya gayo wala na wala ni game kay ni tight siya look at this and continue Nabantayan ko niya nga na itaw nga naghatag mao nga kulang sa iyang panginangan na hanglan kaya ang disulti na sa ginoo niya nga kung kala ra imong mahatag kulang sa imong panginangan ang imong madawat ang buktong paagi day aron mag subra is pa increasean ang iyang gihatag sa tayo nung kulang kula atong gihatag tingali reducean pa rin ako sunod but actually their concept ay it is really kanang Nagsulti ang ginoo nimo kung kulang ka karon tungod na kay gamay ra imong nahatag. It is not because dako kag bayron nun. Going forward. You know, we talk about this, you know. I want to talk about reality. This is very Old Testament level. If this is your giving, you know, then you will be in the level of corporate world, you know. Uh Magnet. You know, Philippines will be blessed. You know, all the nations that are blessed are actually good in charity. Even in Japan, I notice, you know, they have that culture now. Kung na yung hatag ni mo, hatag yung kagbalik. They always give to each other. You go to no, kanang in in areas like Norway, they are very big in charity. They separate in themselves. Ang gobyerno mismo mo ay nagkat na daan. That's why they come sixty percent sa ilang tax because portion for that is for charity. Dako kay portion. That's why naturally nangadato ng na mga nasod. The Philippines, no? Kung tanaw ni mo ang mga tao mang hinatagon jud, maoro gyud nay panalanginan sa Ginoo kay maoro na. Now, this time, uh commit, no? Actually 1 million na yang gihatag I think I I see I think I saw a check him giving 1 million recently. 1 million da fund. Now, how how do you do about giving? Ako lang answer na. This is simple because I'm not really gonna talk about this. Why we talk about this? Because we want our mind to be creative. We talk about the uh, space program that we have. We talk about that we are we have the vision to launch a satellite to counter the um, you know the what you call this the work of the enemy, artificial intelligence. Namo control nato karong taon taon. We we try to attack the Christian world. Need to attack the economic uh, kanang attack sa yawa nato. And that's why. We have to be creative, but the thing is, no matter how much we we spend time in meditation, kung wala kay tabang in terms of your finances, di ka ka invest, di ka kaabot sa level of one. For example, mo palupat ng satellite. We talk about this. We pray, we pray for multitudes of souls. Ako mo declare ko, and I will say, in ministries, we will do the basic biblical principles of growth. No, kanang kita pinagbabawal nga technique. All righteous. Ha? Pagkabalaan dia sa Ginoo. Pamaagi sa Ginoo. That's why you spend time in prayer, spiritual warfare, conquest and follow up. Na kung gusto ta mo panalangin pa sa Ginoo, kinang lang ta creative mind. Di ta ka makahimog creative mind. Di ta ka produce anang sakto nga creative mind kung ang atong giving level ubos. You know, sa gibuhat, ang mga rabay mo adto didto, mo ingon nimo nga pila mo gihatag nga ni kung naglisod ka dapat dublihon hon nimo. Basically Ang otana ko unsay ilang mga they go from 20% DI to 30%. Kung naay dakong problema ipa 30% ipa double. Kung maghatag nimo okay ra nagdagan nimo ayo okay na na imong giving. Kung gusto ka mo grow imong grow that is the solution. And then the hustle, the hustle in work. Of course, the hustle and the hustle in in meditation and creativity. Haguan na ayha po na trabaho pero mao gyud ni ano may example we will invent and recode You know, another language in this church, we will make a language and mathematical calculation for another uh, internet na dili mahak sa an, sa kaning dili ning www. Dot. You know, www. Dot, w in Hebrew is 6. That's a 666. Kanang igamit nato 666 na karon. We have to make another code of internet, another frequency, another algorithm. Wala tay mind ana dire nga makamao. Pero kung makamaota nga mo imagine, kamaota mo tights, we will produce from our children, kita mismo makaproduce ta That is a billion dollar idea. Kung yung centibillion na yung gusto, or trillion na yung gusto, makaabot ka ng level nga gamitin sa Christian world. 
whatever creativity nga gusto nimo i-grow akong gi-solve today is we have the techniques we have the methods unsaon pagpag-grow nato financially also not just in the ministry not just in the lord but financially to overtake to counter it is not for you it is to forcefully allow the kingdom of god to subdue in this last days while we can of course we're talking about launching uh satellite satong church and this is impossible this is really foolishness but i'm very clear i i conceive it so much I prayed and it's confirmed by the prophets. Kabalo na mo. We have this vision to evangelize. We will not just do spiritual things. We just don't teleport. Nga mag-evangelize na kayo mo. Teleport na. We fast and pray and miracles. Mga ayos sila. But in the media, we will dominate the whole planet. That's why in Revelation says, a eagle. No? We say, woe to the inhabitants of the earth. That is a satellite. That is an angel at the same time. It's a satellite. No? That's why we are investing so much. This church investment is, you know, atong padakan, atong giving. We invest in technology also. We, in, uh, we invest in the poor. You know, we invest in uh, people. And we invest in technology. We will invest in technology to propagate, to speed up the work of God. Kay walay naghimo ana in this level, in this planet. You know, I told you, we have to have the mind Eastern, not the Western. The Western touches, oh, God is gracious like this, like that. But we never, our growth is very one. We have to go back to the east, to the biblical rabbis, meditational level of our, itawag na to, faith. No? Dili tsamba, gamaliel po na kong alan, teacher ni Paul. Maunis siya ang pamaagi, ang rumutubo, ang atong utok. I think, what really helps, is not really just finances, it's the creativity. Arun mo paspas imong creativity, mo andar imong utok. No? So anyway, Talking about that, but what is what is it really? How will God finance the ministry in the last days? How will God? The Lord is almost coming. All the wealth in this planet will be null and void now, diba? After the rapture, you know that. But how will He finance the ministry in His last days? Let me read the Bible verse. For who consider you as superior? What do you have that you did not receive? Everything we have. Is the receiver no? No? And if you did receive it, why you boast as if you had not received it? As if wala kay diha ba? The way you know you pretend is maragwala ka. But you have to a lot. You already feel, you have already become rich. You know why the Roman government killed the Christian in the New Testament church and that's why the bishop surrendered and niad to na din sa dark ages. Kabaw ka nga no? Because the Christians are so dominant. Maayos sila mo take care ng slaves. The slaves wants to work for them. The best slaves, they can choose the best slaves. And the slaves are working, they're taught in the Bible, gitudluan sila na kung mag kanang mo serve ka sa imong master, tarungo ni mo serve. So they have the best economic uh, kanang structure. And of course, we know that basically the religious guy said that you continue tithes, no? Ngayon siya sa mga parisiyo. But, uh, yun ang pagkamatarong, unahan ninyo. Nagka-revival sila, kusog guys sila, and that because of their giving, they become very wealthy. Very wealthy. That's why ang inquisition is to get their wealth. The gold that the Christian world at the time na-accumulate, di kuha to sa Catholic Church. The Inquisition itself. So much wealth, the Roman uh, government wants to get the wealth to be killed. Kaya kung magbatay ka, ang property mailaha. Nang adato na to sila kayo. You post if you have not received it. You, you, became rich. you have become kings without us. And indeed, we wish you have become kings so that also might reign with you. They already have corporation like the Jews. Wala sila yung mga hari, but they control the economic. Finances, media, the Jews are actually kings of the land. Dili ni mo mabuntog ang mga Jews because they give their tithes and 20% to 30%. Yung ang mga hudiyo. That's why sila yun ang tag-iya. Even Japan, it's a rich country, pero you got Dokomo, uh, what is, whatever company, it is actually a Jewish company. The biggest companies in Japan are actually Jewish companies. 
but ma, ma yahu mana diha unsa na diha di ang ano man di become kings this is their reality pero ang ginoo na ay solusyon to propagate his kingdom in his last days na ay pamaagi ang ginoo na mapildi pagalit nimo nang mga hudyo what did they do and then you can summon church kung naa galit tabangunon mamugo sila masuko sila din sila patabangon namugo sila that is that is one key number two usa pa Ang ilang property, the best of their property, ilan ang gibaligya aron it in trust sa feet of the apostle. Kung naa kayo say the best nimo diha, pwede na nimo bilig i-offer nimo. Of course, you have to take care of your tithe. But the best, kung naa kay yuta diha, imo nang ibaligya. Nga mo ingon ka nga maog yun ni akong nadawat, ikaw magbuot pila ka percentage. Kung di ka magpasumangil, nga mo ingon ka nagbaligya ka yuta, nimo ka mo nita nang halin, makamatay na because this is not about tithes nimo. This is not about tithes anymore. It is about a sacrificial giving in the best they can. They sell a land and then they declare what, what they sell and surrender at the apostle's feet to take care of the ministry. To make the ministry the most powerful move in the land that even the uh, great empire of Juan has to make war with them. Even if they don't have a country. It will enable so much the end time church to push the agenda. That's why I'm saying I'm not just teaching you about tithing. I am teaching you about giving the best to the Lord. No. There is no poor among them. Remember this. We have to transform, you know, get out of Babylon. We always think that a ministry wants money, or you know, like that, there's a prosperity gospel. But we never had that passion, that standard sa ginawa sa itong Number one is you have to conceive, meditate. You have to know how to give to grow your creativity. You have to have an end time church to give God the best that you have. Give your best to the Lord if you want to be used by God mightily in this last day. Give your best. Plan how you how can do it or just right away give it. I will, I will, I am very certain. I am confident. Ayaw ibang hatang na di imo ha. If it's not yours, don't give. Ayaw pang ayaw aron imong ihatag. No, don't do that. What is yours, rightfully yours, give it to the Lord. Surrender to the Lord. The best available that you have. And that's what happened to the New Testament church. And don't lie. Don't ingon nga, you have to give. If you want to keep half, you want to sell a property, you want to keep half, tell that you keep half. Don't say like Ananias and Sabina, oh, this is all. No. You will die for sure. You are cursed if you do that. If you want to give 10% lang sa imong sell, so be it. Tell that you give 10%. If you want to give one fourth, one fourth. If you get to it half, it is your discretion. Wa kapugsa. If you want to give all, say that it is all. Aron dili ka mamatay. Aning a scale, the Lord will bless you. The Lord will bless you as leaders, great men of God. You cannot be a great man of God without giving your best. I tell you. We will not allow, arrive in our level without giving something that's you know, precious. It's you know. worth it anyway. It's nothing really. You don't have to reason with it. These are simple principles of growth. Simple. What is the biblical? This is, this is foundational elementary. Kung di ka katuman ani, you are not in this realm. Not that I judge you because God is full of mercy and He saved you. He wants to save you. He wants to bless you. He survived ka karon. Pero kung gusto, di ka mo tubo. You have to really understand this.